Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boys, Frogan Reactions here. My name is Ogan. And my name is Francesco. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing about a brutal week yes. for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yes, game 27, 28, 29 recaps, plus some trade news. So let's get right into this video. Here we go. Gets on the board, assist coming from Riley and Marner on a power play goal, making the score 2-1, Toronto going into the second period. In the second period, John Morrissey scores one, assist coming from Pionk and Shifley, tying the game 2-2, and then Kyle Connor scores, assist coming from Ehlers and Lowry and making the score 3-2 Winnipeg going into the third period. And then Mason Appleton scores one, assist coming from Kopp and Pionk. 4-2 in the game. Then Austin Matthews gives us some hope in the last two minutes of the play. Assist coming from Tavares and Nylander, making the score 4-3 Winnipeg in the game. And that would be your score, 4-3 Winnipeg Finals. So the Leafs lose that game. Let's go over some stats here. 39 shots on goal for the Leafs, 23 for the Jets. We were one for two on the power play, and so were the Jets. Four penalty minutes for each team. 28 hits for the Jets, 15 hits for the Leafs. Four blocks for the Leafs, and the Jets, 15 blocks. So, pretty yeah. awful game overall. Yeah. I uh, hope we get, because good teams always rebound. Then... A great game by the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's go over the game. game. 28. Nikolai Ehlers scores one, making the score one nothing. Winnipeg assist coming from Dubois. Then in the second period, Mitch Marner scores one, assisted by Matthews and Brody, making it one one uh, in the game. And then Nikolai Ehlers scores one, assisted by Connor. 2-1 Winnipeg, not great. Third period. William Nylander, absolute beauty, ties the game. And next, assist coming from Tavares and Riley, making the score 2-2, tie. Then Ilya Mikheyev, making the score 3-2, assist coming from Kerfoot and Engvall. And then Paul Stastny scores one, assist coming from Ehlers and Pionk. 3-3, tying the game late in the game, and then in overtime, Austin Matthews scores in overtime a beautiful goal. Yeah, assisted by Riley and Marner, 4-3 Toronto final, one minute into overtime. It was just amazing. Was Everyone amazing. was talking about this goal, backhander, right up to the net. Beautiful. Let's go over some stats. 38 shots for the Toronto Maple Leafs, 27 shots for the Jets. 0 for 2 on the power play was the Jets. 1 0 for 1 on the power play for the Maple Leafs. 4 penalty minutes for the Maple Leafs. 2 penalty minutes for the Jets. 30 hits for the Jets. 18 hits for the Leafs. 18 blocks for the Jets. And 6 blocks 
for the Maple Leafs. So, okay, so a pretty good game hell, overall. Hellebuck is a bit crazy in goaltending. And good teams find a way. Wow, that is amazing. They found a way to beat Connor Hellebuck, the unstoppable beast that he is. Mm -hmm. But then, game 29, very, probably our worst game of the week. Yes, very bad game. Um, so, Baswa in, in the game was told that he was going to start the game. So, it's a pretty good, at least Connor Hellebuck isn't in the net. So, we can finally just pile on the goals. But that didn't happen this game. So, let's go over. First period, no goals. Engvall scored early in the game, but ended up coming back as no goal. As Winnipeg challenged it. For a hand pass, and it ended up being a hand pass. So, unfortunately, no goals in the first period. Then in the second period, Mason Appleton scores one, making it one nothing. Winnipeg, assisted by Lowry, Lowry and Kopp. Then Jake Muzzin scores one, assisted by Marner, making it 1-1, one, one, shorthanded goal. Nylander, assisted by Thornton Hall, making it 2-1 Toronto. And then Paul Stastny scores one, uh, making it 2-2 two, two, Toronto. Yeah. Then, in the third period, Adam Lowry scores one, assist coming from Appleton and DeMello, making the score 3-2 in the game. And then, unfortunately, Nikolai Ehlers making the score 4-2 on a power play. Assist coming from Pionk and Kopp, 4-2 Winnipeg. Then, they pull their net. Then, all of a sudden, the Leafs take a power play. And unfortunately, Sheldon Keith doesn't like it, yeah. so he melts off to the to the refs. And unfortunately, he takes a power play from the layup game and melding off. So Bench. then all of a sudden Mark Shifley scores on the five on three. Morrissey gets the assist. Wheeler gets the assist, making the score five two and saying good night to the Maple Leafs. And that would be the end score. Let's go over some stats here. 32 shots on goal for the Jets, 22 shots for the Leafs. The Jets were two for four in the power play. We were 0 for three, not what you like to see. Not six penalty minutes for the Jets, 10 for the Leafs. 31 hits for the Jets, 15 for the Leafs, 14 blocks for the Jets, and 11 for the Leafs. Very brutal game. Yes. These penalties in the last third, uh, third period were horrible, and it was just, it was very bad. The, the Riley penalty, the uh, Hyman penalty were not deserved, especially the Hyman one. Keith gets upset, they give him a bench minor. So let's go, let's go over the light week for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yes. So this week, there's only three games mm -hmm. and a four-day pause for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So the Leafs look to get back on the winning column against the Ottawa Senators in Ottawa tonight At or on Sunday. Again. Sunday. So we're filming this on Sunday and tonight there's going to be a game. We're probably going to be airing this on Monday, so you don't know. Well, you'll know what the score is. We don't know right now. But we'll be covering this game in next week's FOR yes. episode. 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific. Then, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, no games, four day pause. Give some time for the Leafs to uh, practice, make some changes, hopefully get back on our winning streak. And then, we versus Calgary at home at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific. Friday and Saturday, back yes. to back. Same so, time. We'll probably, we'll probably be seeing Hutchinson on Saturday, or maybe Campbell if he's uh, hopefully back. We don't know who's going to play that game against Ottawa, or probably it's going to be Michael Hutchinson. Yes. We'll tell you if that changes not on next week's episode. Yeah, and then next, the week after, only two games, Ottawa and Edmonton, and a four-day pause after the Calgary Saturday game. So, at least in next week and the week after, have some time to practice, make some changes, do whatever. So yeah, that's hopefully that'll be good. Uh, and let's discuss a trade that happened Yes, yesterday on Saturday night. The Maple Leafs made a trade with the Columbus Blue Jackets. So Leafs trade Lettman for, to the Blue Jackets for Vevelinen, mm -hmm. a goaltender. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sad that Miko Lettman's moving on, but there was no spot for him in 
the NHL, and unfortunately, he did not produce when he was in the games. Yeah, so maybe he'll have a better time. Yeah, like Columbus. So good luck to him in John Tortorella. Yeah. Um, hopefully, he doesn't get benched by John Tortorella, yes. but he will. John Tortorella is not afraid to bench Nico Lettinen. So I wish him the best of luck mm -hmm. and welcome goaltender Vevelainen. To the Toronto Maple Leafs. He's 24 years old, made his NHL debut with the Blue Jackets on March 6th. Uh, uh, terrible game. In relief for uh, Corpusello. He stopped three of the four shots he faced. Uh, so he select Columbus selected the Finnish goalie in the sixth round 2018 NHL draft. He appeared in 33 AHL games during uh, last season, posting a 10-18-5 record. So still good, but not great. So there's some work to be made. His save percentage is a 901, better than what Anderson has right now. But the best part is right here. Vevelainen was named the Finnish Liga best goaltender in both 2017, 2018, and 2019 yes. while playing with Karpat. He was also a member of the Finland's gold medal team in 2019 IIHF World Championships and it, the 2016 World Juniors. Yeah. So, um, th there's a lot to like about Vevelainen here. Um, he, when he plays more games, he posts great save percentages mm -hmm. and that is a great thing for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Hopefully he performs. Hopefully he's great, and they're obviously not going to put him in the lineup yeah. anytime I soon. He's going to work on him, and yeah, yeah, the, that's uh, that's what's happening this week. So that's been our video for today. Yes. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and if you could please leave that notification bell rung, that would be amazing for us. So. Uh, like if you like the reverse retro jersey, this week was our last reverse retro game. The Leafs will be wearing St. Pat's jerseys on next week's games uh, for Toronto St. Pat's, for St. Patrick's Day. So uh, let us know what you think about reverse retro. I think it's pretty nice, pretty cool. So that's uh, it for the video. And we'll catch you next week for another one. Peace!